you welcome to the studio. Can you please introduce yourself to the viewers? From a small content is the name. Okay. I am the acting executive director of Citizens Advocacy Network. All right, it's good. Uh, we have you here today. Uh, you're welcome to the non-violence program aimed at promoting peace in Sierra Leone towards the 2018 election. Uh, as a youth advocate, uh, can you please tell us what is a strategy you have in convincing the youth not to be involved in the, in the election violence? Yes, of course. Part of what we do as an organization is to provide civic education, civic consciousness. And as a responsible organization, we have decided to organize a program which we have tagged as a National Youth Summit, aimed at, um, of course, conscientizing the youth of Sierra Leone, having their minds disabused on issues of violence and intolerance. It is, of course, a project that is aimed at bringing comedians, comedians who play the roles of the, the, the aspirants in the, in the elections that we have in March. We already have these comedians, about six of them, who actually mimic the candidates. They will represent each of the candidates. And in the process of their debate, they are going to engage in a debate on the 21st of um, this month, February, at the Miata Conference Hall, 4.30 um, p.m. They are going to engage in a debate with an intent to send a message out there that political divergence does not mean we should not tolerate each other. We could have different views. We could belong to different political parties. We could come from different regions. Okay. We could be dif from different regions okay. or, or, or tribes. Now, yes, uh, but that doesn't mean we should not accommodate each other. I want to ask you, what is your advice to every Sierra Leonean out there towards the 2018 election? Yes, my advice to compare to it is very simple. The electoral process is a one-off event. We, the people of Sierra Leone, will always remain. We have a lot of things that we share in common. We have a lot of beautiful things in this country. We have, of course, religious tolerance, what have you. One of the things that have always put us asunder is politics. And as people of this country, this great country, we should see this period as an opportunity to make informed decisions. This is not time for us to be at loggerheads. This is not time for us to be in acrimony. This is time for us to seize the opportunity to look at the options presented to us and the candidates and of course see which, um, which one amongst them could make the best choice for this country for this generation and the generations yet unborn. It is only when we make informed decisions as a people and as citizens that will have our lives better. But when we miss the shot from this point, it is going to be a five years period in five years wasted. It's not, it's not, uh, uh, yeah. Your advice for the partisan, those that are party oriented. Yes, of course, it is not bad for one to belong to a political party. Of course, it is provided for by the laws, it is provided for by the constitution, the right to associate. But amidst that, we should realize that people also have their right to belong to different political parties. We should not be in one political party at the same time. There are people who believe that they should not actually accommodate people with divergent views. And as an organization, one thing that we want to send out is, irrespective of the fact that you belong to a particular political party, always create room for the accommodation of others that, that share different views from yours. Because it's only when you do that, that you're able to learn. Okay. You should be your, tolerant. Your final advice for the youth? The My final advice for the youth towards the elections is very simple. These elections will mark the, 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 the kind of life that we live as young people. Most people have this belief that we are the future leaders. But I hold the view that we are the leaders of today. And being leaders of today means we have to be smart enough to make conscious steps to make conscious decisions that will impact our lives and the lives of our children and our children yet unborn. Thank you very much. It's Thank nice you. having you in the studio. Thank you.